going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. It's been a long time since I even attempted to make a video. Been thinking about it. Been uh, doing some been doing some stuff I probably should have caught put on video. Been interesting probably. Maybe some of y'all. Like last few days, been dumping some rock over at Reba McIntyre, uh, Reba McIntyre's uh, old uh, old barn over there, and uh, I'm almost right before you get to Galvin, between Galpin and Leviton right there. So that's kind of interesting. But we'll be going back over there, so maybe I'll catch some of that on uh, and send out for a later time. A lot of stuff. I'm in a different truck. Matter of fact, I've been in several different trucks. Um, we're headed right now to get some dirt, mud. It's been raining, uh, so it's going to be interesting right here. Um, let's see. I was in number 111, which was the gray truck, then uh, upgraded to the purple truck. Guy left, started uh, doing livestock hauling, and then uh, the, it messed up. The uh, torque converter went out, and it. And I don't know, on the mic here. Uh, but. But uh, then we had a lady work here. We called her Bubbles, and she actually left from here. Went to Indiana Transport. She leased on to Indiana Transport. She went and bought her a truck and leased on to Indiana Transport. And she been out there running. She just got through running the low with Sea Farmer. And um, went to Reno, running a lot of that snow and ice, you know, stuff like that. So, but hopefully she makes it and has a good, uh, uh, a good go at it. I think she headed back home and then she run a couple Ohio's, you know, that their first two runs that they picked. She run a couple Ohio's and maybe a couple Florida's and then went to Reno. So hope she likes it and everything, does good out there. Uh, people been asking me about me coming back, see farmers out there doing his thing. And uh, he went down again last night. Uh, I'm not going to say what happened. Y'all catch his video when it comes out. Uh, but uh, I'm, he'll have more videos on that. But we're... I turned the camera on today because this could be getting interesting. What we're going, like I said, it's going to be muddy. May get stuck. And Oh, yeah. When I, I, I took her truck, it was another gray truck like the first one that I had, but it was automatic. So drove it for up to a couple of days ago another guy left he went to big g so i hope he has uh good luck and everything out there they had really good insurance and he needed insurance so he left and went to big g so i'm in one of the new ones i got hold on a minute yeah buster i hear you uh but uh, i don't want no biscuit i got uh my sandwich maker got me uh some eggs and Sausage, I got warming up a cooker. But, uh... Alright. But anyway, we got a train crossing, but it's moving fast. It ain't gonna stop. They have a bad habit of stopping right here on War Trace. And you'll sit here for 30, 45 minutes on a train. But, um... My thing is... Uh, so where was I at? I'm getting old, y'all. Lost train of thought. But, um, so he left and I got this green one now. I got the new green one, the 2024, and it is automatic. And he put a bunch of chrome in it and got some breather lights, stuff like that. I may show y'all later on. Right now the truck is nasty. We've been in, it's been raining. We've been in mud. Every time work gets slow, I've been in the shop a lot, y'all. Uh, a lot of stuff I probably should put on, on video. That's like all the ones with the uh, Chevrolets out there with the Allison transmissions. Well, the dump trucks we have have the Allison transmissions. 
uh, and I serviced three of them last week, and they're a whole lot different service than them than they are on, on the pickup, so might have been an interesting video and uh, on that, but didn't want to get into all that. Been doing a lot of shop work, a lot of working on trucks, and all that good stuff. That's what has been going on me. Bar uh, uh, Thanksgiving, I smoked some barbecue turkeys. Man, them things are good. And uh, matter of fact, I smoked six of them. I give some away and stuff like that. <clears throat> but other than that, I'll flip the camera around and uh, uh, oh yeah, but before I flip the camera around, we get up here in this mud hole to see we're backing in, but maybe I'll be able to get a little bit from somebody else backing in instead of me. Uh, especially if they get stuck, you know, I have to pull them out with a chain. Yeah, but um, also I got, been trying to think of some, because Christmas is coming up. Been trying to think of some stuff to put out there for y'all for Christmas coming up. I've, I've had a lot of stuff sent to me want, want me to do some videos on, but I ain't no interest in, in doing them. So I've been saying no. But, uh, and I've done some videos on, on these types before, but a little bit different. I found one that was uh, a little bit different. So I am going to do a video on it and something else that's, uh, that I am, uh, it's on its way. I'm gonna be doing a video of it too because it could uh, help some of y'all out. Um, so just uh, wait for the videos and let's find out what we're gonna get into today. All right, y'all, we almost up here. So I ain't gonna be the first truck. I'm hoping to get some video of some of this. I think we're one of us gonna wind up getting stuck. And you know, work's been slow anyway. Dump trucking, you know, gets slow and it rains winter time. But also, 54 cent cup of coffee, yeah. I don't know if it's 54 cents nowadays. I don't buy it, my wife does. The sandwich maker makes it up, but, uh, but I did find this right here. I've done a lot of research for coffee cups because I broke my other one. And so I needed a, a good one. I put this down in my storefront, y'all. This right here well, does make a good Christmas gift. Y'all know somebody that travels and everything, and I've done, done some reading up on this one right here. It was like people flies airplanes and stuff. They would fix coffee, throw it in, seal it up, throw it in their bags, and um, and it wouldn't leak. That's what they said. I didn't believe it. I've been testing it out for a couple months now, and it don't leak. So it's... I got it down and I also got another one down in there that I keep at home, which I'm best to order two more of them. I'm gonna order one more of these too, y'all. So if you wanna go check it out, you need a good traveling mug. They got different colors, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And uh, I also meant, yeah, the other day when I was in the, the last day of the gray truck that I had of uh, bubbles, I bent the bumper. I felt bad, but I did. I had to back up in between two houses to dump a load of uh, uh, topsoil. And they wanted me to make us turn around the house and there was a big pile of dirt right there. Well, on this big pile of dirt uh, was a huge rock that got caught and it hooked my bumper. I didn't see it, covered up in the dirt. I sunk down, hit the rock, bent the bumper out. So later on, man, I bent it back or it don't look too noticeable, but it happens in dump trucking. But we almost here to Coney Island. Let's see what we get into. And yes, my windshield is dirty and nasty. The whole truck is. But right here, we're gonna be backing off this road. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my flashers on. And we're gonna be backing off because it's gonna be muddy. So hopefully when we get back in here, I'll be able to show y'all some video of it. All 
right, before we get out and show y'all the dash, these new ones are different. Check out the dash. I also heard they've had a lot of problems out of these dashes. And they're high dollar dashes, so they bought extra insurance. Automatic, there's all the gauges. Green breather lights. Alright, here's the outside of it. Like I said, it is nasty. We're bringing the breather lights going. And I say it's nasty, y'all. It's, it's nasty. This is Coney Island. This right here is. I can zoom in a little bit for y'all. This is what they're going to want us to back up in. Let me get a little closer. Make us a little ramp. To uh, get down here. Yeah, but you see all that? They're going to try to cut it down so we can get in there. All that standing water. And that's what we're going to back up. Get that red dirt. Well, making some tracks. We definitely gonna make tracks whenever we leave, y'all. This right here, it's been cut down. Kind of serious how this is gonna work out. Dang, I was hoping gonna get some action and get stuck. So far on the first one, they ain't getting stuck. All right, y'all, now I'm gonna try this, see if I get stuck. Yesterday we went somewhere, first person didn't get stuck, and I slid off, so let's find out. Well, definitely not. I mean, it's definitely muddy, but definitely not a problem like I thought it was going to be. I figured for sure we even brought a chain. Thought sure somebody was going to sing. And yes, y'all, even though I'm at home every day, my sandwich maker still makes my breakfast. And that little warmer I got right there, because I don't need the big cooker like I used to have to actually cook the food. But I just, she fixed me my breakfast the night before. I bring it, heat it up, and it's good to go. Still saving money. Nowadays it's hard to get by, so you know everything costs so much. The economy's done got way out of whack. It's getting crazy how everything really is. So simple as a 54 cents, or hell, it it could be 80 cents now. I don't really know, but it beats a cup of coffee and you know eggs from the house or whatever. Every little bit saves up. Christmas time's coming up. And for the ladies out there, I got a video coming up that I'm gonna involve my sandwich maker in. I'm actually gonna, I've actually talked her into doing a video. So, as long as she don't back out. Got a video coming up soon, and I'm gonna have my sandwich maker in it. And so for y'all ladies out there. So, hope to find that interesting, see what that's gonna do. Let's see what we're having. Of course we're having a sun drop. Let me see. Garlic potatoes and barbecue pork chops. Not bad for lunch. All right, everybody. Getting ready to eat the lunch. Um, and if y'all got any questions, put it down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you ain't subscribed. If you got any dump truck questions, trucking questions, or RV transport questions, I'm still getting a lot of them helping out. Uh, now, uh, biggest, I know Christmas is coming up, and as I said, I still got a, a little bit of surprise and everything. I'm going to try to put out uh, a few videos. Um, I just ain't made one in a long time, so I just want to get on here and just really say, hey, what's going on? Make sure everybody's doing okay. You know, we had already had Thanksgiving, and now we got Christmas coming up. Hoping everybody's working, getting the loads that they want, and everything's going good for y'all. <clears throat> like, some of, on my videos, this to give people, because I know people want some Christmas ideas, 
a lot of comments I've been getting on a lot of different videos that I will throw them out there uh, is the bed cover video that I've done. And yes, the bed uh, cover video that I've done on the blue truck with the soft bed cover uh, that is still doing great. Uh, because I, I saw, or I give it to somebody else, put it on their truck, and they're still using it. Um, and I went through a lot of winters and stuff with it. I mean, it, it, I was surprised. It actually held up good. And, um, the seat cover video, that one is doing, I'm getting a lot of questions on it. Everybody's been real happy with them. So, if you need seat covers, you can go check out that video. And heated jackets. So, been getting, you know, in my Milwaukee, if y'all seen, I had it on this morning, the heat. No, I didn't have the heat on because I didn't need it, but I always keep a battery in my pickup truck. And I did put some KO2s on my uh, two-wheel drive pickup truck. But anything else exciting happened today, um, I'll make another video. See if I can't start getting back on the road making y'all some. But if y'all got any questions or anything I can make a video on, if y'all want to see, leave a comment down below. Y'all be careful, be safe out there. See y'all on the next one.